wanted to do Rabbit in Richmond because I think that um, I wanted just to do this video because I think that for those of you that really don't have much rabbits are like bored and stuff because I know that with my rabbit that sometimes she gets bored and she's just like I know like even though she gets to like roam her home living room she gets bored she's just like uh I know this place by heart it's like nothing new like everything's boring and like when she first came here she was like Oh my gosh, everything's so excited. There's like, I get to roam this whole living room. And then she's just like, yeah, same old, same old living room. Um, so I really wanted to do rabbit enrichment because that's what you've got to do when your rabbit is getting bored because rabbits really do need something to do um, when they're bored. So I think that's something that really needs to be talking about. Um... So, yeah, let's get right to this video. I want to mention, if you are on a budget, you are in the right place, because most of these cost no money at all, and you can just get them off of, like, like with something around your house, and, like, most of these don't cost money at all. One toy that I wanted to show you is a cardboard treat bowl, and I know... Um, this is a very popular, actually, a very popular toy that people have DIY'd, and I just wanted to show you how I make it. So, step one is I'm going to kind of cut this into, like, little bits, and it's basically like an empty toilet paper roll, and... I'm going to put these together in, like, so. And then I'm basically going to cut another piece. And I'm going to put it on here, like. Whoops, this is really kind of falling apart, but I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. And as you can see, it's going into a ball, and I'm just going to shoot on the time lapsing it. And you guys get the point, you're just going to put all of them, like, layering it to make a ball, and you guys get the point, so I'm just going to go ahead. Now there is going to be some leftover pieces because, as you can see, this is finished and it's pretty much a ball of toilet paper, um, cardboard roll thingy, <laughs> my bobber. And then I'm just going to take some of your rabbit's favorite treats and put it inside here. For this example, I'm just going to put pellets inside here. As you can see, I have a mix of my bunny favorite treats, and I'm just going to go ahead and put that in here. You have stuff to all of your rabbit's favorite treats. You can go ahead and give this to your rabbit. And as you can see, your rabbit will probably be going crazy for it. And I know my rabbit really loves these, and it's a really good source of enrichment because it just gives your rabbit something enriching to do when they're bored. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, well, wait, no, this is not the end of the video. I'm joking. So, of course, there's going to be more than that. And as you can see, she already ripped it open. And there's going to be some more enriching things that I'm going to talk about for your rabbit in a second. Now, the next thing I'm going to be talking about is redoing your rabbit's setup. Well, like, when I say setup, I mean, like, fortress or, like, a little hidey place. So, for this example, I'm doing something under 
the table and I'm going to make her sub. So, as you can see, there's like a little tunnel that she can come through and I'm going to hit that. And so, I'm just making a new little kind of like place for her to do her thing. Um, I'm making a new one so that she can explore it and have some fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm done to be doing her setup and like her little hiding space and um, I think this looks really cool, and I think she'll really like to explore it, and, and you could even, like, hide, like, some nice, I mean, some animals, or for them to find, and this would really make, uh, something that your rabbit will really love and enjoy to explore, just move things around a little bit, create something new, um, that your rabbit can explore and to make it fun and your rabbit will really appreciate it. Um, so yeah. That is another one of my enrichment. Another one of my ideas was to take herbs and just using this one as an example. And one button is always going crazy for it. And then... So you're going to take the herbs and you're going to, hold on a second guys, it's just real quick. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to take your herbs and make sure that your bunny doesn't steal any of them because as you can see bunnies really go crazy for these, especially mine. Um, and you're just going to go ahead and you're uh, going to sprinkle these in your rabbit's hay because it's like 4-H for them, and it's another one of my enriching ideas, and this also helps if your rabbit won't eat hay. This will also help to encourage your rabbit to eat more hay because of the herbs in there, and you don't have to use herbs. You can use little pieces of lettuce. Um, you can use, of course, pellets. You can use a lot of different stuff, but just for my example, I want to stick natural and use herbs. So, yeah. Also, if you guys are like, yuck, you're sticking your hands in your bunny's litter box? That's disgusting. Well, come to think of it, it's basically, their, their scat is just, hey, veggies, Pellets. Isn't it bun? Isn't that what you poop out? Well, so yeah, that's another one of my rich ideas. And and the next thing that I wanted to mention to you guys was hidey houses because hidey houses are really cool and um, they're really easy to make as you can see and this one is an extremely simple one with two doors no bottom but hidey houses are actually a great thing because you can attach tunnels to them other hiding houses to them and make like a line of hiding houses that your rabbit can climb through, they can go through, and they're just really fun for your rabbit and they will really make your rabbit curious and want to explore and that is the most important thing because you really want your rabbit to be healthy and this is one of the main things that will help you do that. So. Heidi houses are something that I would strongly recommend 
And another great thing is that rabbits will chew on it, rabbits can chew on it, and it will also act as a chew toy and a place where they can explore. So that's why I would really recommend tidy houses. Now you guys might be wondering, how do I get my rabbit to not chew on like the wood stuff in her room? Well, I don't think Bun Bun is really interested in that stuff. She's not just not that kind of rabbit, and she just doesn't really like have interest in polished wood. It's just like that's weird. I don't want to eat it. She doesn't have interest in that stuff. So, yeah, that is another one of my enrichment ideas. Okay. And my last, but surely not least, thing that I would recommend as an enriching toy for your rabbit is toys. Toys come in all shapes and sizes. You can buy them at any pet store. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for this bun, like for this bun, and comment for this bun. And also, follow for, well, follow and subscribe is the same thing, but share for this bun. Share this bun all over the world so that she gets super popular and so that she gets a lot of subscribers because she doesn't really have that many subscribers. And yeah, so like, comment, and subscribe for this bun and share for this bun. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, and bye.